Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here, and this uh, lesson is on fractions of a whole. Okay, and don't forget, all your lessons can be found at uh, MrMathBlog.com. All right. Hey, if you get a chance, would you click like? It helps encourage me make this video. So I stopped making them for a while, and I got an email from a parent. And so, anyway, um, uh, there's our common core strand, and our essential question is, how does a fraction name parts of a whole? So we'll do, have several examples here. Here's one right here. For a school project, Nancy colored a circle with three different colors. So what fraction of the circle is not red? So here's the circle here, and it says the circle has three equal parts. So this green part is equal to this yellow part is equal to this red part. Now if you're colorblind, uh, my son is colorblind, he'd have a hard time seeing those different colors. Although he can see yellow and, and uh, bright red, but this could be brown or anyways. But So this one's definitely the red one right here. Okay. So uh, here we go. We're going to name equal parts of a whole. A fraction has uh, can name uh, more than one equal part of a whole. And so uh, this circle is divided into three equal parts, and two of the parts are not red. So here's the red part, and these two parts are are not red right there. So um, so we're going to write it as a fraction right here. This two over three. This is the numerator. The top part is the numerator. The bottom part is the denominator. And so there's two of the parts, this part and this part, that are not red. And there's three equal parts all together right here. Okay, so there's three equal parts. That's your bottom number. And then how many of them are answering our question that are not red? Two of them are not red. So two out of the three. So it's represented as two-thirds. Okay, that's how you say that. Two-thirds. All right, let me shrink that up. So uh, like I said right there, it's, it's red two-thirds or two parts out of three equal parts. Okay, so these two parts out of the three equal parts are not red. Okay, what part is, is red, you guys? There'd be one-third, so one-third would be red. Okay, let's answer this. So, blank of the circle is not red. Two-thirds of the circle is not red. So we put the fraction in there, two-thirds, okay? All right, so uh, here's a math idea. When all the parts are shaded, like this uh, circle right here, uh, then you get one whole shape is equal to all its parts. So it represents the whole number. And so in this part, all three out of the three are shaded. So three out of three equals the whole piece. So we'll learn later that any number over itself always equals one right here, okay? Uh, so here we have uh, three out of three that are shaded. The numerator, which is the top number, tells you how many parts are being counted. The denominator, which is the bottom number, tells you how many equal parts are in the whole group. Okay, so the bottom number is the whole group, and the top number is uh, how many that we're counting. Okay, so we can count equal parts, uh, and we'll show you six here, such as six, to make a whole. So right here, this uh, we have one out of the six parts that are shaded right here. So this would be represented as one-sixth, okay? So this is one one-sixth of a part, okay? Here's two one-sixth of a part, okay? Two one-sixth of a part is represented as two-sixths because two are shaded out of the six equal parts right here, okay? Remember, the top number tells you how many of them are counting. Well, there's two of them being shaded here. On this next one, there's three of them being shaded. So there's three of the one-sixth being shaded. Remember, there's six equal parts. That's our bottom number. So each one represents one six. So there's three of them. So the top number would be three six right there. Okay, you get the idea. So here's four six right there. Okay, so what goes in that little box? Four right there. The number four goes right there. Okay, let's move that up right there. Okay, here's uh, what, how many is that? There are five one six of the part shaded right here. So this would be five six right there. Okay, Nice and easy, isn't it, you guys? Okay, and then this one is obviously 6 out of the 6. Now, remember, any number over itself equals 1 right there. So, so we can see that 6 out of 6 equals the, the whole 1 shaded right there. So 6, 6 equals 1 right there. Remember, any number over itself equals 1. Okay, so try this, you guys. Write the missing word or number that uh, to name the shaded part. Okay, so it tells us here there are eight equal parts. That's what this bottom number is. So eight would be eights. So there's five of them that are being shaded right here. One, two, three, four, five. So this is five eights. So we're going to just uh, write the word, spell out the word five, F-I-V-E. Okay, all right, how about this one right here? Okay, so there are six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the, there's three blue ones shaded. So we count, we're counting three of them, so this is going to be three, six. You guys remember how to spell three? T-H-R-E-E. -E. All right, and the last one, you guys, is uh, this one here. 
This one has four equal pieces. Can you see the equal triangles right here? There are four of them right here, and they're all shaded. So this is going to be four-fourths right there, okay? So four-fourths, remember, four-fourths, any number over itself equals one, and this whole one figure is being shaded. It's cut up into four equal pieces, but all of them are being shaded. So uh, it's four-fourths, or it's equal to one whole piece right there. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Take care.